Hello friends, Stacy Anfinson with your TMLS resale inventory update. Uh, today we're doing this on March 7th of 2023. So let's dig into the data and see what is going on. As I've presented in numerous prior uh, videos, uh, mortgage rate interest uh, direction is really, really impactful on the market. Here is a graph going back from March of 2022 to March of this year. You can see uh, you know, the valley in March of last year at 4%. And, or again, uh, as I'm doing this, the first week of March, almost pushing 7%, which was back to where we were in October and November. We had a little bit of a decrease down in January and uh, December, January, and February, which is probably indicative of why January was good in terms of closing sales. So just kind of keep this picture in mind because I've got a little bit of a conundrum. Uh, see if we can figure this one out. Uh, resale listings added by month. If we go back to February here and February of this year, we're down 23% uh, in February of this year compared to that. Now, this is the seven main counties in our market, Wake, Durham, Orange, Johnston, Franklin, Chatham, and Harnett. If you look at uh, resale listings in February, they're up 9% compared to January. So that's good, but uh, most of that is seasonal. The, the big downer on this slide has been a 23% decrease compared to February of last year. Now we're going to look at the median list price of resale listings added to the market. Remember, these are status of active. So these are the price of the unsold. These are the prices that uh, sellers are hoping to get. Uh, interesting here. So once again, if you remember our, our slides and, and the majority of uh, metrics that we presented last year show that the peak of pricing was in May of 2022. Uh, what we look at here is median list price of these listings. Uh, January was up 4% compared to, uh, February is up 4% compared to January at 415 versus 399. And, and the bigger news here was February is up 5% at uh, 415 compared to the 395 that was observed, observed February year ago. So we're pretty darn close to the peak in May, which is kind of un, uh, counterintuitive given uh, what we saw the impact of rising interest rates in the fourth quarter of last year, what they did to price metrics. Uh, once again, now we're going to look at median list price per square foot of uh, resale listings added during the market. 1% uh, increase, 216 versus 213 in January, and February is up 5% compared to that. Once again, the May peak, 218, less than 1% higher than February. So 218 versus 216, we're almost back to uh, that May peak once again. Okay, so why? The question is why? Why, why, why? How can this be happening? So we'll look at four arrows here. The first arrow says, uh, indicates there's 1,770 active resale listings on the market at month end. Uh, the second one, now when we look at months of housing supply, we look at a sales pace and you can do it by month. You can do it by a three month period, six month period, year period. I do it at a 12 month period to take the seasonality of the market, but I also do it at six months because if you remember from the last graph, uh, we had a, a big increase of interest rates in the fourth quarter. So if you look at the resale sales pace over 12 months, we're about 2131 per month. And if you look at it over six months, it's 1655. Now to get months of housing supply, you take the 1770 and you divide it by 2131, or you take the 1770 and you do it by 1655. It doesn't make a difference which one of those paces you use. It's one month or less, and that is a severe undersupply of housing. So in spite of interest rates going up, we do not have enough resale inventory out there to meet current demand. I'll finish up with some uh, just overall metrics in terms of what's going on with the resale market. And this is month end listings by price bracket. You can see pretty much the uh, majority in terms of this pie are between three and 400 to 28%. That's the sweet spot in terms of where resale listings are. And then 22% are between four and 500. So easy math on that. About 50% of resale lame inventory is between 300 and 500,000. Now we look at days on market, another pie, pie chart coming for you. 10 day brackets, a percentage of total. Uh, the big one here is that 24% uh, of resale inventory has been on the market for 90 days or plus. That's totally opposite of what we observed during the first quarter of last year. 4% uh, has been on the market between 0 and 10 days, and 21% has been on the market between 10 and 20 days. So a little 25%, it's kind of a tale of two markets. 25% has been on the market between uh, 0 and 10 days, and 24% has been on the market for greater 
than 90 days. So we're going to give us some fun facts to wrap up with. Uh, 23% decrease, the top one, 23% decrease in resale listings added in February versus those added in February 2022. A 5% increase in median list price of resale listings added in February versus February 2022. A 6% increase in median list price per square foot. So all those things are, uh, those two pricing metrics are positive. Uh, 40, 48% of percent, 48% percent, percent of month in inventory with the DOM between one and 30 days. And as we mentioned in the previous slide, 24% has been on the market for greater than 90 days. So that is our monthly update for resale inventory within TMLS, as I mentioned, those seven main counties. Uh, for further information on this and other topics, uh, please visit www.tarport.com. If you are not a subscriber of this YouTube channel, I encourage you to do it and like it. They really, uh, my metrics really increase when you do like it. So that's all I've got for now. We will see you next time.